Now that we have our project set up from part one, we're gonna go ahead and import some assets. That way we're basically gonna be starting from scratch. Now in this case, we're gonna be using the animation starter pack because again, it's free. So we're gonna go ahead and add a project, show all projects, select your project, and just select the closest engine version. So in this case, as of today, it is 5.0. Then next up, we have the FPS weapon bundle, which again is also free. So that's gonna be the exact same thing. Add to project, show all projects, select yours, and select the nearest version, so 4.27, and add it. Now, once you've done that, you should have the Anim Starter Pack and the FPS Weapon Bundle. Now, to get started, we are going to want to basically duplicate our Anim instance, or our Anim blueprint, and set it up to where it is used on the skeleton provided by the Anim Starter Pack. So to do that, we just go to our FPS folder, Character Related, and here we have our anim blueprint. We're just gonna right click, retarget animation assets, duplicate and retarget. Now we're not gonna be using any of the animations provided from this character. We're gonna be using all the ones from uh, the anim starter pack. So it doesn't really matter for us, but for the IK retargeter, we're gonna select the UE5 Manny to UE4 Manny. Now for the source, we wanna scroll up and select our own character here, the FPS plugin character. Then for the target, we want to make sure we select the right one. So this one is in the path game characters mannequin. This one is game anim starter pack, then the mannequin. So we want the anim starter pack one. Now from there, let's go ahead and create a new folder. We're just going to call this one re, uh, retargeted anims, and we're going to throw it inside of there. So we're going to go ahead and retarget. Now we have a new folder, retargeted anims, and here we have, well, pretty much all of them. So if we look at the idle pose, you can see we have it set up. Uh, things are definitely broken though, as I have not set up a proper IK rig or anything, but that's okay, because like I said, we're not gonna make use of them. But I do know a really funny looking one is the movement. So if we look at the run, it's got a little, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but meh, either way. So, we have our new anim BP and that's what we wanted. So we're gonna go ahead and open that on up and we're gonna go ahead and fix all these. So as you can see the two bone IK for bone hand underscore R, we don't have these virtual bones. So VB hand R, VB hand L not found in skeleton. And if we scroll on through, we have another one. It's a VB firearm collision grip, also not found. So we need to add these virtual bones. So we're gonna click on the skeleton here and we're gonna go to the head bone. So right here, right click, add virtual bone, and we're gonna do this on the right hand. So hand underscore R, select that, rename it to site, so VB site, right click on that virtual bone, add it to hand underscore R again, and this one's gonna be named hand underscore R. Then right click on that virtual bone, the hand underscore R one, and add another for hand underscore L, and name it hand underscore L. Go ahead and save it, and then compile your anim BP, and now you can see the majority are gone. Now we just need to add the firearm collision grip. So to do that, let's go to our root, right click on it, add a virtual bone to the root, and this one's gonna be named VB firearm collision grip, and then save. Now we can compile again, and we are good to go. So we now have our anim BP pretty much set up. Now the main reason for retargeting instead of creating one from scratch is the animation layers. It is very annoying to try to go through and copy and paste because you can't just copy and paste an anim layer around to another anim BP. You have to also f basically add it down here, fill it out, then set the layer up here under settings and then go into it and then copy and paste stuff into it. So. Granted, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. It's still quite a nuisance to do. This is just a very quick and easy way to basically duplicate it. And plus it gets you all the same settings. So for example, we're using the parent from the plugin and all that. So we have that set up and good to go. Let's go to our M4 state machine, go to our state, and here we have our basic animation. So let's go ahead and set up a different one from the anim starter pack. So we're just gonna do like our rifle hip. So let's find that. 
guess I can just search for it. Yep. Doo -doo -doo. Rifle fire, no. I, idle rifle hip. So we're going to use that. So can I actually drag this out? Yes, I can. That's kind of cool. So we're going to grab the idle rifle hip and save that. Okay, now we want to go ahead and basically start, I guess, just setting up an example character. Now, the easiest route that I usually recommend for, again, people starting out is just take mine, copy it, paste it, and then strip it out. So we're going to grab my example FPS template character here, and I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it tutorial, just so it's easy to find and everything's in there. And let's rename this one to EP underscore tutorial character. Open that on up, and now we can change out the mesh. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and remove my attachments. That is something we will get into later. So delete those two. We're going to change out our mesh to be the Manny. Or the mannequin. So this is the find the one from the Anim starter pack. So that's this guy here. Now we want to grab the new Anim BP. So I actually want to rename this one. So Anim BP underscore tutorial character. Okay, so now we can select it. So NBP tutorial character. There we go. And now we need to set up our camera. So our camera is trying to attach to a parent socket called camera, but that doesn't exist. So we need to go ahead and make one really quick. So we can go to our head bone and our skeleton, slow this camera down a bit, and we can right click, add a socket, and call it camera. Now let's go ahead and just drag it out just in front of the character. So that'll be maybe a little farther. About there. So it's right about at his mouth. And we can just drag it on up. And that should, I'd imagine, be about where the eyes are. So we have that set up. Now, as you can see, it is attached to the camera bone. However, the orientation is a little bit off, so let's go ahead and correct it. So we need to rotate on the x-axis, and then, let's see, that would be, yeah, and then the y. So back on our skeleton, find the head bone, find our camera socket, rotate 90 degrees on the x, and then rotate 90 degrees on the y. So now our camera is pointing straight out in front. So we're, you know, we're off to a pretty good start. Now that we have our character set up, let's go ahead and plop them on into our level and just kind of see roughly where we're at. So we're going to possess. And I'm going to go ahead and save all and hit play. Okay, why did that spawn? I think I have it in the world outliner. So example, yes I do. Why can I not delete? Oh, that's fun. I've had this issue before, and I don't fully understand why. It's like it goes out of, I don't know if it's considered out of bounds or what. But, oops, I'm to eject. Yeah, like he's right there. So i got to figure out how to actually select him. So I'll be right back. I want to try to figure that out. Alrighty, so I was able to go ahead and remove the old example character, and that was resolved just by restarting the editor. I'm not exactly sure what causes that, but I've had that issue before in the past, and I don't necessarily understand why. I highly doubt it has to do with board partition, but I could be wrong. But again, that's something I'm new with. Anyhow, when we hit play, we'll be met with this. So as you can see, socket CC firearm grip does not exist on mesh, character mesh zero. So I've overhauled, instead of actually crashing the editor with an assertion, just set up a uh, only editor compiling error messages that kind of give you a better indication as to what's going on. So here's our character mesh zero, and the error was we were missing a socket. So basically the socket for the firearm to attach to. So if we head over to the M4, you can see under the socket settings, I can find it. There we are. There's a lot more stuff in UE5. So the firearm grip socket. So you can see if I change this to test, 
and then I hit play, socket test does not exist. So we just have to match it up. So we're going to use the default name, so cc underscore firearm grip, and we're going to go to our mannequin here, and we're going to find the right hand. So hand underscore r, we're going to add a socket, name it cc underscore firearm grip. And from here, we can add a preview asset. So if we search for M4, you'll see we have, if we scroll down a little bit, M4 for socket positioning. So we can select that, and this will get you a 3D model that you can actually visually see. So for the time being, I'm just going to grab the, uh, what is it, the hip idle? Idle rifle hip. We're going to go into that animation and just kind of see where we're at. So we need to drop it down. Oops. And quite frankly, that's actually somewhat close, but we do need to rotate it around. And I'd say that's roughly in the ballpark. So now when we hit play, and then we go ahead and eject, you can see we are now holding on to the firearm. Now there's stuff that needs to be tweaked, obviously like the left hand IK is off, but that we will get to in a separate video. So we are basically at a pretty good point. So as you can see, things like the aiming, sway, leaning, looking up and down, all of this works just out of the box by default. Same thing, well, and there we go. It's kind of hard to see because it gets out of bounds, but the light and laser, all the firearm interactions and everything just work. So you can even kind of see the pose. Granted, our idle pose is super low, so it's going to play additively on top of that. So we're going to eventually have to fix our idle pose and set it up to where it's a single frame to where we have only our procedurals running. Now you can layer it on top of your actual animation if you want to. That works fine as well. But that's what we're going to end up probably doing in the next video. Now the very last thing before we take off is something I want to fix. So this is just a project setting that is standard in all part, basically all your projects. So if I aim, now just let's pretend I'm the camera right now, so I just ejected. It's really hard with a super fast camera. And of course it kicked me out. Do it again. You can see as I move up, I'm clipping through the firearm. So you can see like, basically I can't get super close or otherwise I clip through it. So to resolve that, we go to project settings and we want to search for clip. And under there we have near clip plane, and that's set to 10. I would set it to something like 0 0.1 or even smaller. It really kind of depends on you. And then save all. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and relaunch our project. Okay, once our project's been relaunched, of course now my camera's super slow, we hit play, go ahead and aim, eject, and as I come in, I can basically get as close as I want without clipping. I don't have to worry about it. So that's kind of roughly what we would want there. So we have the basic setup. We have our default M4 set up and good to go. And the main thing we're going to want to work on is, well, moving forward, is like I stated earlier, so we want to make use of this guy. So here we have our meshes, the AR4. So we have our basically M4, we have our Val, and so on and so on. So it really kind of depends on whichever one we want to pick. So in my case, for the sake of attachments, we're probably going to run with the AR4. Great naming. So we don't have a whole lot that we can do to it, but we can add a site here. And quite frankly, that's unfortunately the only asset that I can see that would actually fit properly, but we'll work on it. So we can work with forward grips and all that kind of stuff and add those on later. And then in a future video, it's not a free asset, but I'm going to show you how to basically construct a firearm that is built out of pieces from, well, scratch and get that set up and good to go. But again, that's all later down the road. This is just to help you get started. So now that we have all that, I will see you in the next video where we switch over and we set up one of the marketplace assets. So I'll see you then.